Okay, I'm back. It's been a long day. I hope you were as productive as I was. We're back for round two, the Evening Express. Let's go. Okay, so what I, I'm assuming you're warmed up. It's not like we just got out of bed. We'll take just a moment. I'm going to turn and face the sun. Just a moment to center and focus. Come into mountain pose. Bring the palms together at the heart center. Close the eyes and begin to breathe in and out through the nose. Long, slow, deep breaths. We let the breath not only begin to relax the body, but the breath centers, brings us to center. Feel your body letting go, feel your body relaxing. Chair pose, inhale up, slow forward bend, chair pose, inhale, forward bend, one more time, chair pose, inhale, forward bend. Bend the knees, step the right leg back, come into crescent pose. Inhale, exhale, open, opening left. Inhale, arms up, exhale, open. Inhale, exhale, open. Inhale, arms up, touch down. Step the feet together, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, left leg back. Arms come up, crescent, with an inhale, exhale, open. Arms up, exhale, open. Arms up, and we open, come up, step forward, feet together, halfway lift, exhale, release. Step back, plank, and lower all the way to the mat for a little baby cobra. Push back, down dog. Inhale, plank, lower, baby cobra, down dog. One more time, inhale, plank, lower, cobra, down dog. Adjust your stance, down dog, right leg up, bend the knee, open the hips, and breathe. Ah, oh, that feels good. After all day walking around, doing our chores, now we get to release, create the release. Downward dog, press back even. Left leg up, bend the knee, open the hips. Mm. Mm. And we bring it down, press back even, down dog. Okay, so here we take the right hand, inhale, and grab the left leg. Or maybe down a little closer, down by the ankle. 
Long, slow, deep breaths. Inhale, back out. Exhale, left hand, right leg. Turn to look up if you can. Reach out, press back even. Lengthen back, right leg up. We're gonna step it forward. Anytime we do these crescent pose, you always have the option to drop your knee, okay? So, going for a little more twist, palms together, twist. Now notice how I straighten my back leg and press through the heel. Engaging our whole body here. Bring the arms up, inhale, and we twist. Again, left hand down, and you can adjust your feet as I do. Make the adjustment to be, to feel good, to feel comfortable, reach up. Mm, breathe into that right hip. Bring the arms up. Do a vinyasa. So here again, you always have the option to do a cobra or chaturanga up dog. I'm gonna explain that in a future video why we choose one or the other. Down dog, left leg up, step the foot between the hands, and again you have the option to drop a knee, come up into crescent or the modified as I'm demonstrating, palms together we twist to the left. Use the breath to expand into the side ribs. And we're in the twist, we're expanding our ribs to breath. Inhale, arms up, back to crescent, and then we take the right hand down, straighten that back leg, make the adjustment, reach up, and deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, step back, plank. So again, you do that cobra or chaturanga, up dog, open, pull the shoulders back, down dog. Take just a couple of breaths right here. Take that right leg up, step it forward, come into the crescent. So from crescent, we start to incline forward from the hips until you come into a warrior three, and then bring it down, standing split. And notice if you can, release your head toward the leg. You can bend the knee a little bit. Lift the heart. So we have this three-point um, foundation. Lift the heart. The left hand is going to stay on the mat. Revolve half moon. This is an evening vinyasa series. Bring it back down. Come back into the crescent pose and vinyasa. Pulling back to down dog. Again, every time you come into down dog, make that little bitty adjustment ah, so that it feels perfect. Okay, so we got the left leg up keep moving here. We want to keep moving. Find your crescent pose. From the hips we start to come forward and I'm going to come do um, warrior three 
into standing split. Release the head toward the, the leg, the standing leg. Okay, so the lift the heart. The right hand is going to stay on the mat. Left hand reaches up for revolved half moon. Keep breathing nice, long and slow. Long and slow breaths, even breaths. Inhale, bring it down, step back. Whoa, crescent pose. And then we step back to plank. Vinyasa. To downward dog. Inhale, look forward, exhale, walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Exhale, slow fold, chair pose. Inhale up. Hands, palms together, the heart center. Okay, we're going to come to the center of the map. And then step the feet out. So we're setting up for warrior poses, standing poses, triangle warrior. Taking the feet out to about wrist width. Here's our Da Vinci man, Da Vinci woman. Bring the right foot out, right toes out. We have front heel to back arch alignment. Hips are forward. Inhale, warrior two, bend the knee. Out toward the fingers. Bring the hands together, straight leg. Exhale, warrior two. Did I say warrior three? Warrior two. Again, straight leg. Bend the knee. Get a movement. Inhale. Warrior two. Side angle. Reach. Open for reverse warrior. And inhale. Side angle, reach, reverse warrior, side angle, reach, and hold it this time, we're opening that shoulder, take just a few breaths, reach and extend, press into the back foot to extend through the fingers, little half circle back to warrior two. Straighten the leg. Okay, bring the hands to the hips, feet parallel, and then we turn left toes out, but make sure your hips are this way. Left toes out, we come into our warrior two. Taking that front heel to back arch alignment, warrior two. Inhale, straight leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straight leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straight leg. Exhale, warrior two. Okay, here we go. Reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle. Exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle. Exhale. Reverse warrior. Side angle. We're going to hold this one. Little half circle back to warrior two. And there we go. Okay. Feet are parallel, arms out, feet are about wrist width apart, turn the right toes out, reverse warrior inhale, triangle pose, try, try to keep it moving as much as I can here, mm, breathe. 
you soften the face and you can check your alignment if you like keeping your shoulder and arm right over the leg and notice as I breathe slowly start to release deeper the whole time maintaining the alignment of the shoulder over the leg bend the knee warrior two come up so we turn to the left and the start you get your alignment with the reverse warrior reach up and then here it is triangle pose I'm gonna look down and get my alignment right away shoulder over the shoulder and arm right over the leg reaching up opening that top shoulder we're pulling that top shoulder back reach through the fingers and look up toward the thumb Soften the face and breathe. And again, as you breathe, again, it's with the exhalations. Notice I'm just sinking. I don't do anything but breathe. The body relaxes on its own. Come back to the warrior two. Straighten the leg. Okay. So we're going to do one forward bend, inhale, lift the heart, and come forward until your fingertips find the floor right beneath the shoulders. I'm taking my feet out a little wider, keeping the feet at parallel, keeping the feet parallel, lift the heart, just like we do on halfway lift, with an inhale, lift the heart with an inhale, and then slowly, the movement here is from the hips as we release down Bring in the head. Now, we practice this in the morning, so we usually do, and you're going to find that your body's a lot more, a lot more warmed up and ready to accept a pose like this. And again, it feels good after all the work that we've done. Maybe you did a lot of walking and standing cooking. Inhale, so we're going to walk back out and then bring the feet, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, bend the knees, come up. Have balancing pose. going to do one balancing pose today, tree pose, come mountain, shift to the right, left knee out, do tree pose with a little variation. variation. Slowly bring the hands together at the heart center. With your left hand grab your foot. We're transitioning into dancer's pose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, press back and reach forward. back and that's why we call this practice come back into the mountain find your balance shift to the left foot right knee opening and then we start with tree pose and these poses differ every day depending on where you're where you're at right here what's going on in your head and if everything is calm you've had a nice day these poses become very easy. And slowly the palms come to the heart center. We're going to use our right hand and grab our right foot. And again, don't worry if you, you lose your balance a little bit. Always step by step. This is step one. 
you find the balance. Step two would be to reach up. Step three, to press back and reach forward. And remember, we're pressing back and reaching forward. Same energy going in both directions. Even, equal, and opposite. So you're pressing back, but you're reaching forward. Slowly, and again, it's okay. Every day is different. Come back to the center. And we make our way down to the mat. Bound angle pose, lift the heart. So breathing into the, we're gonna finish up here with just a few for our hips. Breathing into the inner groin as you press your knees down, lift the heart, press the knees toward the floor. Use your hands to bring the knees together. So I'm gonna rock back and forth a few times. This is another balancing pose. So if you, some of you know this one, we're gonna start by lifting the feet. Here's balance right here, there's no movement. I lift the chest also so the back is nice and flat. Now as I roll back, I'm only gonna come to my shoulders, not to my neck. And then roll forward without touching the feet. Find the balance when everything is still we do it again, come up, find the balance. Let's do this about three to five more times. Try to find stillness and balance when you come back to this part. And we do one more. Okay, feet together, soles of the feet together, slowly come down for reclined bound angle. Now this one feels so good right now as we focus our breath into the inner groin. So go ahead and close your eyes and breathe. Let your whole body start to relax and soften with the exhalations. The inhale, there's always a little tension created with the inhalation. But then when you exhale, you let it all go. It's relaxing face, shoulders, belly, especially into that inner groin, the hips. Continue to breathe. Relaxing and softening with each exhalation. Bringing the knees together, we're gonna do pigeon pose on our back this evening to, so we bring the right ankle over the knee to create a little softer practice. We do pigeon on our back. Grab hold of your thigh and pull toward the chest. And the added bonus of doing pigeon on the back, you can, you can create and manage the intensity. Keep pulling, pull into the chest right to the point of resistance and then hold it there. Now, if you need a little bit more leverage, after a few breaths, you can reach down as I'm doing and grab below the knee. And now, now you can pull a little more if you can feel it. Oh yeah, and you have to soften. Will you feel the stretch? Direct your breath, but also direct the idea for that part to soften. A lot of this comes with imagination. We imagine some pose happening. Okay, release that leg, switch sides, left ankle over the right knee. Start by grabbing your thigh and pull the thigh 
in toward the chest. Remember to keep your head on the, on the mat. The head should stay down the whole time. And then deep breaths. Again, we soften. Soften any point that you feel that you feel tension. Focus your breath into any point that you feel tension or resistance. Keep pulling, so we pull again. We pull right to the point of resistance and then hold it there. A couple more breaths. And slowly release. Okay, back bend. Bring your feet to about hip width for bridge pose and close enough so you can just barely touch the back of the heel with your fingertips. Lift the hips, interlace hands, and we bring our shoulders underneath, back and forth, back and forth a few times. Okay, deep breaths, and you can move your feet around if you need to to keep the, the heel right below the knees. Imagine you're squeezing and holding a ball between your knees. And then deep expanding breaths. One more breath, inhale deep, lift the hips even higher, release the hands, release the shoulders. Counter pose, bring the knees toward the chest. Okay, we have time for a, in, an inversion and you have several options. If you're in your house, you can do legs up the wall. If you, or if you don't have any wall space, take a block or a book or hello. And as I'm demonstrating with my fish, you can put those to bolster underneath your hips. And that becomes a very easy way to keep your legs up, just like legs up the wall. Otherwise, the other two options, headstand or my favorite would be plow first, right here, plow into shoulder stand. So we come into plow, if you're doing this one, and plow and shoulder stand are classic. There are very important poses that you should practice at least once a day. So start with plow. You know, again, considered to be some of the the most important poses in the whole practice, plow and shoulder stand. So press, straighten the legs in plow, breathe. Soften the neck, the face. So we're gonna get our hands ready on the low back for shoulder stand. Come up into your shoulder stand You want to hold this for about three, up to three minutes. Start with one, two, or three minutes, and then work up to five. I like to hold it for five minutes, but today, maybe three minutes. I'm watching the, I'm watching the mosquitoes are coming out. So I'm watching mosquitoes as they try to land on my legs. That's not very fun but I can still hold the pose. And then after a few breaths or a minute or so, you work your hands up your back and that straightens the hips and the legs. Remember to soften your neck and keep the eyes focused on the waistline or the belly button. 
you really you don't definitely don't want to be looking around moving your head and neck and looking off to the side that's a big no-no just keep just hold it for about another minute So we're going to slowly, let's slowly come out back into plow to start and use your hands on the mat and the knees slowly come out. Try to keep your head on the mat the whole time. So you want to use your abs to control, come out with the legs extended just for a moment. We're not. We're almost ready to finish. Getting adjusted back onto my mat. Okay, so here we are. Bend the knees. Pick the arms out to form a T. Bring the knees up. Inhale. Exhale, knees to the right, all the way to the floor. And we look left. Breathe a deep breath into the left side chest. And as you exhale, relax the belly. That's going to complete the twist. Inhale, deep breath, left side chest. Exhale, soften the belly. One more time, deep breath. Exhale, soften the belly. Bring the knees up. Exhale, knees to the left. Look right. Deep breath, exhale, soften the belly. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, soften the belly. One more time, inhale, deep breath. Exhale, soften, come back, bring the knees to center. Hands on the knees, exhale, head to knees. So we're in a little tiny ball, and then we're gonna release for our final relaxation. So bring your head down, feet down, extend one leg at a time. I'm gonna guide you in through this final relaxation. Make any adjustment you need. I'm gonna sit and give you a guided relaxation. So make any adjustment you need to sit to lay down, to lay comfortably without moving for the next three to five minutes. Take one long slow breath in through your nose. An even longer slower exhalation. Let your whole body completely relax. And let your breathing Slow down to the normal, everyday rhythm, the gentle, slow rhythm of breath. The whole body is soft and relaxed. Relax the legs. Relax and soften the feet and the toes. Relax the legs again. Feel the legs become heavy. 
and then relax the hips. The hips are heavy, sinking into the mat. Soften and rack, relax the abdominal muscles. Feel the support of the mat beneath your spine. Supporting the spine, supporting the trunk. Relax and soften the hands, the fingers. Relax the arms. Relax the shoulders. Completely relax the shoulders. And then we relax the face. Feel the skin on your face soften. Feel the skin soften. Relax the mouth and the jaw. And let the eyes sink into their sockets. slowly start to deepen our breath. Bringing awareness back to the body. Keeping the eyes closed. Bend the knees. And roll off to the right side. start to open the eyes. And when you're ready, use your hands to push back up to seated. Come up slow. Let your head come up last. Let your head trail and come up last. Come up to seated. Take a moment to reflect on the practice, take a moment to reflect on your practice. Always without judgment. Bring the palms together at the heart center. Join me for three ohms. We inhale, exhale. 
exhale completely. Inhale. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. Have a good evening.